Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise where we go over top prospects throughout the Braves organization from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time we were in AA Mississippi for Bill Escalona, outfield prospect, and this time we're going to be staying in Mississippi for the first one of the 2019 season for another outfield prospect in Leon Fenn. So, Neon Leon is an outfitter, like I said, he is a switch hitter, throws right-handed, 70 overall already, a B potential, he is 21 years old from the state of New Jersey. And Fenn is a very good contact hitter, he's going to be hitting for a high average, he has an 80 contact versus right-handers, 65 versus left-handers, great both ways around, he'll be able to get bat on ball and get on base, his vision's pretty decent at 53, so he's not going to have trouble making contact like a guy like Tasca Hernandez would. And his discipline is 71, so he's going to have a decent amount of walks as well. And he also has 82 durability, so he's not going to have much trouble staying on the field, as he won't be getting injured left and right. One of his biggest strengths, though, is his speed, as Fenn has 73 speed, 86 stealing, and 60 base running aggression. So the guy is going to swipe quite a bit of bags for us in the future, hopefully, is. That 86 stealing rating is definitely going to help out with that 73 speed. A lot of the times in this game you'll see guys have high speed ratings, but their steal ratings are just really bad, and it affects them in the base running abilities. But Leon Fenn is not going to have that problem, as the 86 steal rating is definitely going to be a big thing for him. As far as what Leon Fenn does poorly, uh, he just doesn't really have any power. He has 33 power both ways versus right-handers and left-handers. He's not going to be cranking home runs. He's not going to be a 15-20 home run hitter. He, he might hit like 5 per season, 5, 6, 7 per season, somewhere around there. Uh, he's not going to be a power hitter. He's a high contact guy, gets on base, steals bases, and he also is not the best of fielders. His reaction and his fielding aren't the worst. He has 60 fielding and 58 reactions, so I mean, that's feasible. You can deal with that. Uh, his arm strength, though, his arm is pretty bad. He only has a 53 arm strength and a 38 arm accuracy. So not only is his arm not very strong, he's not going to be able to get it on target much. So his left field is probably the best position for him as a player. His speed could probably make up for the fact that he doesn't have the best reaction in center. But then again, he'd just be like a Joe Kobe Ellsbury in center field with that poor arm. And I would say that Leon Fenn's MLB ETA is the 2020 season, which is actually next season. We are currently in the 2019 campaign, so I would say that in 2020, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to say he might be the starting left fielder. Uh, Fenn and left. Harrison's on a one-year deal, so he'll probably just get walk. Uh, he'll probably just go off into free agency or retire, whatever uh, he decides to do in the offseason. And maybe Spangenberg will move over to right field. So I wouldn't say that him in left field next season as the starter everyday left fielder would be a uh, far-fetched thing, but he could possibly need another year in the minor league. So 2020, 2021 around there is probably his NLB ETA. So with that being said, it's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the prospect profile of Leon Fenn, Neon Leon down in Mississippi, an outfield prospect from New Jersey, our first overall pick in the 2018 season. So I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Bills keep piling up, trying to have a job you love. Doubters look at you like shit. When you gonna give this up? Not yet, cause there ain't much else I'm built for. Head and shoulders over y'all. I know what y'all got stilts for. Trying to catch up like you paid for Heinz Field. But I'm an eagle, baby, flying over minefields.